Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a brand new movie review for you. Today we're talking about the Super Mario Brothers movie from Illumination. Illumination! But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as we keep growing towards 250 subscribers. Welcome to all of you that have recently subscribed. I very much appreciate it. Now let's dive into this movie. A little bit of a background. I have never liked an Illumination movie. I've never felt like they were the type of animated films that like kids could like but adults could enjoy too. I always felt like they were very kid friendly and while this one is also very kid friendly I actually do enjoy this one. I don't know if it's just because I like Mario or what but I thought this one worked for me and it could be in part due to the incredible cast. You got Chris Pratt, Charlie Day, Anya Taylor-Joy, Jack Black, Seth Rogen, Fred Armisen, Sebastian Maniscalco, Kari Payton, among several others and I thought it was a great voice cast. The one thing that took me a little bit of time to get used to was Chris Pratt and Charlie Day's Mario and Luigi's voices but they kind of explain why it's not like the typical Italian accent in the film and if you can roll with that you roll with it if you can't you can't but for me I got used to it and it was whatever I liked what they did with Princess Peach a lot of times in the games Princess Peach is just there to be you know the damsel in distress someone to be rescued and this one Princess Peach like takes action for her kingdom wants to rescue it and has some cool uh, action scenes on her own and training Mario and all this stuff. I thought Jack Black's Bowser was my favorite part of the movie. I loved him. I wish the film had more of him. His like song numbers were fantastic. And uh, I thought Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. I was I didn't think they would let Donkey Kong do the <laughs> Seth Rogen laugh. But man, am I glad they did. Because every time I hear that laugh, it cracks me up. And this time it was no different. I thought the story for the Mario movie We've seen we've seen stories like it before. Like it's nothing groundbreaking or super original, but it, it was serviceable. Like you're there to see Mario. There's lots of gags on screen. Uh, one of my favorites was when they like first get to the Mushroom Kingdom and they walk past the antique store and you see this guy like with an old N64 cartridge and he's like, "Oh yeah, it works better if you're blowing it." I was like, "Oh, that's." Oh, that's great. My first video game console was a Sega Genesis, so I know all about the old blowing out the dust technique. But overall, I thought this film was really good. I thought the animation was crisp, and that's never been a problem with Illumination's films from Despicable Me to Sing and Secret Life of Pets. Their animations always look really good. It's just like the subject matters never really worked for me, but in this one, it did. I thought, like I said, the story, while generic, is good enough for a Mario movie. And I, I do, I want to see a sequel. I didn't think I'd say that coming out of this movie because I kind of thought it was going to suck. But I like this movie. I am down for a sequel. There are two post credit scenes and I really enjoyed both of them. I thought the first one was hilarious, but the second one, the second one got me very excited for a possible sequel. And this thing's making a ton of money from what I understand. So we probably will get a sequel. I truly don't understand uh, the Rotten Tomato score of like 50% because that is way too low for this movie i truly enjoy it and i think it sets the bar at a pretty good level for animated fare coming out later in the year like i said my only real complaint is chris pratt and uh charlie day like it takes a little while to see mario and luigi and accept the different change of voice but luigi and they do tease some like luigi's haunted mansion stuff in this i hope if we do get a sequel maybe we get to explore that a little farther like we only get like maybe five minutes of it in the movie and that's another thing i've said it before in more recent reviews there for like a while like in december it felt like every movie that was coming out was like three hours plus oh my god i hate even if the movie's incredible i hate sitting in a theater for like three plus hours watching a movie like especially my local theater like the chairs are horrible it's uncomfortable like make it like two and a half tops or just make it a tv series at that point but this film perfect runtime didn't feel like it was dragging at any point for me i like that they stuck to the games but also changed some things to like make it more manageable for a movie i i really enjoy the super mario brothers movie is it perfect is it super original no it is not but if you're a mario fan i think you will definitely enjoy this flick i'm gonna give the super mario brothers movie a 7 0.5 out of 10. I really do enjoy this movie. I think kids are going to love it. The kids in my screening were cracking up at all the jokes, and I cracked up at some of them as well. So if you're a parent, if you got a niece or nephew or something, go take them to see the Super Mario Brothers movie over this Easter weekend. I definitely think they'll enjoy it. But if you have seen the movie, let's chat down in the comments below with what you thought of it. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more movie and TV content as we head into Star Wars Celebration tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time.